So my fourth wheel has turned up today. I have already unboxed one and had a look, had a sneak peek, I couldn't help myself. But let's unbox the rest. Here we have my first ever set of imported wheels from Japan. T37s and a 17 9.5 plus 12. Uh, gone for a 17 because I do want to run a big sticky tire. They are going to go off and get powder coated and refurbished anyway. They do have a little bit of rash, but all that will get tidied up. And these will go off and get done. All unboxed, all together. Super happy. Big shout out to Nick the four-door freak. I'll put his Instagram on the bottom of the screen. He sourced these from Japan for me. So. My wheels back from the wheel repairer. Um, I had them weld up some of the rash on the on the lips and re-machine the edges. Um, I didn't get them to refurbish or repaint these wheels because I am actually going to get these anodized. So I need to get these is as clean and prepared as possible. So I'm going to paint strip these today. Um, any other little chips or marks or anything I notice, I'm going to wet rub and get them smooth. I have sanded a few spots on the other wheel. Um, and a lot of the chips and marks that I am seeing is in the paint, so it should come off. But first, we'll get them paint stripped. Let's go. So it's been about 20 minutes. Um, I wrapped these up after I put the paint stripper on, uh, just to sort of keep all the toxins and the smells and all the nasty stuff in, and also keep it moist while it's doing its reaction. So I might unwrap it now and have a look. If it needs a bit more, I'll put a bit more on, and then we'll leave it for another 20 or so. This one's definitely had a reaction. There's the old sticker. Does look like the paint's getting a little bit bubbly. I might put a lot more on. Might go a lot thicker. Might go a lot thicker now knowing sort of how much I'm using. I should definitely have enough paint stripper. So I'll go heavy on this coat and we'll wrap it back up. So two thick coats of paint stripper on the wheels. Uh, it's been about 20 minutes. I've unwrapped them. I'm gonna hit them with the hose, hit them with the gurney, and see how much paint stripper's left. I think I left the paint strip on a bit too long. It had started to dry, so that's why I didn't come off with the gurney. Um, so as you just saw, I was scraping a lot of it off just with a plastic applicator. Get a lot of all the loose paint off, I'll hit it with the gurney again, dry the wheels, and I'll put some more paint strip on. Right, these two wheels have had about four good coats of paint stripper so it is taking a little bit longer than I thought um, and scraping with a plastic applicator or like a scotchy to get all the paint stripper off is definitely working better than the gurney 
the gurney gets the thin stuff off but not the thick stuff off. So these have had about four good coats and I've hit them with the gurney. Um, they're nearly there. They will need a little bit more around the edges and nooks and crannies. So this is where we ended up uh, with the wheels after they've been paint stripped. It was probably about seven or eight coats per wheel to get them more clean. Um, really happy with the way they've come out. Um, but I've come back to a bit of a crossroad. Um, so in the start of the video, when I unboxed these, I said I was going to get them powder coated. That's because that's what I was going to do. Um, I was going to get them powder coated because I did a little research, um, Facebook, Google, etc., and found the best way to match like the, the Volk bronze or the OG bronze. Um, and that's what I was going to do. Knowing that OG bronze TE37s were anodized when they were made, I was then steering more towards getting them anodized. Did a bit of research um, and thought I could also do that. Now, I was gonna get them anodized for them to be physically as close to original as possible um, without really looking too much into it. Having looked into anodizing a lot more, the surface difference between the machined lips and centers, these being SLs, and the factory casting the anodizing is going to look different if I stain or anodize these wheels. So shy of getting the whole wheels polished and then getting them anodized and them still not looking quite right and exactly like what I want, I'm going to go back to my powder coating idea. Um, not as original, but they're never going to be original bronze. They are obviously replicated. So. Doing this research, um, Google, Facebook, etc. There's a few pages and a few links and a lot of people that have done it or looked into it. <clears throat> there's a company in America called Prismatic Powders. Um, they have a color called Bronze Chrome. Basically, you powder coat the wheels in that color and then during the drying process, while the wheels are hot or at a certain temperature, you paint them with a matte clear, which will give them the finish. Um, I'll put a photo on the, on the screen of what I found and the research I've done and I've also uh, managed to find someone in Australia close to home that can do it. I know someone that's had a set of wheels done. Um, here's a photo of his wheels um, and I've seen the finish in person and I'm really, really happy. So obviously these are going to be rep bronze T37s um, to the trained eye. You might be able to tell a difference but for the most part they look amazing and they're going to look really good. Um, so that's where I was at with the wheels. I did in fact drop these off at an anodizers um, <clears throat> to get done and they looked over them and that's why I was paint stripping them because that's the advice she'd given me. Um, but having looked into it more, I'm gonna steer away from being as close to original as possible to looking as original as possible. So that's the path I'm going down now. Um, I probably didn't need to paint strip these. These will probably get acid washed or, or dipped anyway before they get powder coated. Um, but they're clean, they're ready to go. In this condition, I mean, you could powder coat them, you could anodize them black, you could anodize them any other color. Um, these are ready to paint. I mean, you could give these to a painter who'd lightly scotch them all up, um, put some primer down and paint them. So still the process of restoring a set of wheels. I'm just changing the direction I'm going. But in this condition, Sky's the limit, they're, like, they're basically fresh. You could go in any direction you want. But um, for me, I'm gonna put them back in the car and um, next time you see them, hopefully they'll be looking good. Done. They're back from powder coat, super quick turnaround. Um, I'm really happy with the way they've turned out and the choice that I made to get them powder coated. Um, they look unreal. Um, one wheel by itself looks weird. But honestly, when you get them all together, they just look unreal. Um, the way the wheel changes color in the light um, under LED, outside in the sun, they look gold. You take a photo and they look even lighter. Um, crazy color, but I think captured that OG look as much as possible. Um, so super, super happy about that. Um, and I'm now super excited have them all together because I've got a brand new set of black valve stems um, and OG stickers. So I'll have a quick look at them and um, I want to get these stickers on today. 
see what the wheels look like in their final form. Um, and then at some point soon, I'll have to go get some tyres. Once the stickers are on, get them outside, do a bit of a montage video. Um, the way the colour changes in the dark and the light and the sun, it's unreal. I think when these go back on the GTR, black car, gold wheels, like, just going to look awesome. So, super happy. Let's get the stickers on. Alright, so... Brand new stickers, uh, always Volk on the left, Rays on the right, valve stem at the bottom. That's the, the location of them all. So I've been looking at it, I've looked at some photos online. Um, the stickers normally look like the letters end just before the top of like the rollover on the spoke. Um, obviously, the distance in the middle is going to change depending on the size of the wheel. So these are 17s. So what I'm going to go with is a 10 mil spacer, put a 10 mil spacer there and I'm going to use that like that as my location. I'll put a 10 mil there and do that sticker because um, the start and stop of both stickers is the same distance. So that should give me a pretty much symmetrical look. I'm going to do that on all wheels, that way they're all the same, even if the measurements are off ever so slightly. At least all my wheels are the same, um, and I'm quite happy to do that. So I'm going to use this 10 mil spacer, put some tape on there, and we'll go through and we'll do all the wheels now, and then we'll have a look at the end. There we have it, stickers on. Really happy with the location I picked. Um, they're all uniform, they all look the same, and I'm super happy with the way these have turned out. So, I hope this video has been of some help to you if you're looking to restore a set of wheels like I was. Um, I did a lot of research and couldn't find too much information for the path that I wanted to go down. Um, but if this has helped you, hit the like button, thank you. Um, but for the most part, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, this video and the process I've done. Can't wait to get some tires on these and um, get them back on the car. But thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.